Akron Fieldhouse as the Akron Rams taking care of Ray in three sets in the first game here in the pool play. In set number two, in match number two, we're going to have the Ray Eagles and the Burlington Cougars. The uh, Ray Eagles with the loss are now at 1-19. And, and the Burlington Cougars coming in on today's match are 11-8 and eight overall. As we get ready to start, the Burlington Cougars will be going left to right on your video. They're wearing black, trimmed in red and white. The Ray Eagles in purple, trimmed in white. Akron winning uh, in three sets over Ray, 25-17, 25-10, 25-10. In the first matchup in pool play tonight here in the number two matchup of the day. This one, uh, so if Burlington wins this one, Ray is eliminated. If Ray would happen to win, they would still have a shot if Burlington could beat Ray in the matchup at the end of our uh, three sets here today. But uh, first things first, we got to play this one. If Burlington wins, Ray's eliminated, and the winning, then the winner of the Burlington Akron match would be the one going on to play on Friday. If you're just joining us here on Chassa.tv and CoataPreps.tv, it's 2A District 2 volleyball from the Akron Fieldhouse as the Lady Eagles will serve first, and first to serve for the Lady Eagles will be number six, Taylor Perry, popped up in the back line. Set, going to go to the middle. The big swing down by Michaela Steven. There's a reason she's in the middle. Michaela standing at six foot even. Set comes to the near side, Lins with the attack. A miss hit, and Burlington up two to nothing. Kaylin Sockinson with the serve. Rifle down the middle and misplayed, and four hits called on the Ray Eagles. And Burlington quickly up three to nothing. Rifle down the middle, popped up by Alcorn. Set, going to go to the backside. Tip across from Godsey, popped up by the uh, Cougars. Unable to make the attack was Miranda Mari. Coming in to serve for Godsey is Bailey Reed, a 5'10 freshman. Set to the front, set tip across, popped up by Reed, and the set across from Alcorn back to the Cougars. Going to set to the far side, and on the slide, the attempt by Gately is nicely put back across by the Ray Eagles. Set to the middle and down on the quick set to Michaela Steven. That'll give the serve over to Taylor Godsey. Goes down the middle, popped off the back row, and it's going to come off of Kiri Gately. And Ray quickly cutting into the lead now, 4-2. That's going to send Maddie Peterson back to serve for the Eagles. And hits it right into the net. The service there, just such a killer. Both the momentum and just... A free point that you can't give away, especially at this level. That'll send Steven back to the service line. Michaela puts one down the middle, popped up to the front. Set going to go across. Nice job by Heskett. Comes to the near side and gets it to crawl the net and go down as Miranda Mari on the attack.
The overpass doesn't quite crawl the net, so a free ball back across to the Cougars. Set, far side. Attempt by Heskett and down. The kill by Kylie Heskett. Serve now, cross popped up by the Cougars. Set by Mari to the far side. And the attempt by Heskett, gonna go. Kylie Heskett on the attack. That'll send Miranda Mari back to the service line for the Cougars. Mari floats one across, popped up to the front line. Bump set to the back and a free ball back across from Alcorn. Popped up by the Cougars, set going far side by Sockinson. Down the line, did she get it? No, just out on the attack by Kylie Heskett. Turns the point and serve. Over to Brianna Boyer, whose serve is an ace. Caught the back line. 7-5, Ray just staying right in this. Popped up, back line. Comes to the near side, the attack. Lauren's, Lauren uh, Soner gets the kill. Jump serve just crawls the net from Royer. Back to the middle, big swing and a stuffed block in the middle from Shelby Huddleston. Now the service over to Kylie Heskett, down the middle, popped up by the Eagles, back to the middle, and the stuff block by Huddleston as she's playing the middle well right now. Kylie Heskett back to serve. Rifles one near side and an ace. So all of the momentum right now with the Cougars. Ten six lead for Burlington. Feathered across, nice pass to the front. And didn't even have to play it as the ball comes down on the Ray Eagle side. Going to the back line, popped up, set comes to the near side. Now try to set it across, they do, played by Mari, but not effectively. And Ray going to cut into the lead. Back line on the, on the serve, coming across, Mari with the pass, go to the far side, and the attack by Kerry Gately into the net. Gately, a 5-5 senior outside hitter. Serve over to Polina Alcorn. Tipped across and dug up. Beautiful job by Beth Lenz to dig kill. Nobody home on the far sideline. And the Eagles with the point, cut it to two. Pass from Ashley Burgart. Comes to the near side now, the attempt by the Eagles. That was Peterson. Far side, Kiri Gately, and she's gonna get the kill as they're unable to play it. Gately with the kill on the point for Burlington. That'll turn the serve over to Ashley Burgart. Almost got the ace, and a free ball going to be played across on the set. Just barely got across. Going to go back to the middle. Flat foot attack by Steven. Attack off the block. Popped up. Nice job. Set. Going to come back to the front. And a set across by the Burlington Cougars. Back in the middle. Tipped across by the Cougars. And give that to Michaela Steven.
Burgard to serve once again a four point lead for the Cougars. Popped up back line right by Ray, set into the middle and on the slide. Godsey gonna get it go to the corner and gets it to fall. 13-10, Ray trailing by three, trying to find their way back into this first set. They are done if they get beat by Burlington. Popped up by Mari, nice job by Burgard, and then a free ball back across to the Eagles. Set, going to come to the middle, and the tip across, right into the campfire ring. Everybody just sitting around singing Kumbaya as Brianna Roy are going to get the tip kill. And the attempt on the... Uh, the attack by Steven into the net, and it's a one-point contest. And the overpass comes right back into the wheelhouse of Royer, and we're tied at 13. Mari passed to the near side. Back to the far side and the attempt, a free ball put across and the block put down by Steven Michaela. Steven in the middle. Checking in for the Burlington Cougars is going to be number two, Caitlin Nitch. Serve down the middle and give Caitlin Nitch the or Kalen Sockens in the ace. Serve rifle down the middle. Just missed the back line. That'll turn the serve over to Bailey Reed, who just checked in for the Ray Eagles. Feathers one down the middle, popped up by Burgard. Set to the middle on the short set. And off the block and out, tooling it off the block. Michaela Steven. 16-14. The argument that it didn't touch anybody. Ray saying uh, they never touched it, but the argument going for not as R1 says, yes, you did. The bad pass try, a nice attempt by the Eagles to keep it in play. Taylor Perry with a nice dive over there. 17-14. With Kerry Gately on the serve for Burlington. Nice pass set coming back to the outside and a big swing. Give the kill to Brianna Royer. Back line on the serve. Number seven, Maddie Peterson. Big swing, tooling it off the block on the outside, Michaela Steven. She's a fourth force to be reckoned with. Checking back in on the front line for the Burlington Cougars is Shelby Huddleston. Steven with the serve. Nice job, popped up by Boyer. Going to go to the outside on the attack. Nice job by Burlington to keep it alive. And a free ball put to the back corner, popped up by Alcorn. Set, going to go for a back row attack by Royer, and she's going to find the back corner. Ray trying to get back. They trail by two, 18-16. Beth Lins with the serve for the Eagles into the net. They just get a hard fought point and then a service there. Momentum killer and a point killer. 19-16. Back in to serve for Burlington is Miranda Mari. 
Short serve. Nice job by the Regals to play it. Bump set in the middle. Set goes to the far side. Big swing and finding the back line was Kylie Heskett. Timeout going to be called by the Ray Eagles as they're down 20 to 16 here in set number one. And we'll be back right after this. You're on Chassa.tv, CollinerPreps.tv. This is a big time small town production. Perfect stop for all your needs is Akron Hardware, located at 107 Main Street in Akron. A proud supporter of the Akron Rams, they now carry Ram gear. From hoodies to seat cushions, you can gear up for game day and show your team spirit. Whether it's hardware, home decor, or any other item you may need, get your way down to Akron Hardware. This one of a kind, not just hardware anymore store. Call Akron Hardware today at 345-5600 or stop in Monday through Saturday. Go Rams! Out of the timeout. 20 to 16, Burlington on top. The Cougars trying to close out set number one. The Eagles wanting to say something about it. And the ace from Mari puts them at blackjack. You get the ace, you get the blackjack. That's winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. Mari served to the back line, popped to the front. Set gonna go back to the middle. Feathered across and nobody home. That'll turn the serve over to Brianna Royer for the Eagles. Trailing by four. Royer's got it back to the middle. Set Heskett going to feather one across. Back row attack from the Eagles. Too deep and out from Boyer. 22-17. That turns the serve over to Kylie Heskett, the 5'7 senior outside hitter for the Cougars. Nice serve across, picked up by Alcorn, going to come to the near side, and off the stuff block in the middle. Shelby Huddleston, that's her second stuff block. Timeout, Ray, as they're down 23-17 in the first set. We'll be back right after this on Chassa.tv, call it preps.tv. It's a big time, small town production. Auto, proud to be the best pre-owned automobile dealership in northeastern Colorado. Quickly expanding, Akron Auto has two locations. The original on Highway 34 in Akron and the second on Highway 34 in Fort Morgan. Akron Auto wishes to thank local patrons for making their business possible and ask visitors to stop in and see what may be on the lot for you. Tax time is the perfect time to use your rebate on a car, truck, or SUV upgrade. Akron Auto, better for your budget. Out of the timeout, the Ray Eagles trying to stem the tide here from the Burlington Cougars as the Lady Cougars up 23 to 17. Trying to close out set number one. And back to serve for the Cougars is Kylie Heskett. Heskett serves it down the middle, popped up by Alcorn. And give her the aces, they're unable to play it. It's now set point at 24-17. And the ace finishes it off. As Kylie Heskett gets the ace, 25-17. The first set goes to Burlington. We'll be back for set number two right after this. On Chassa.tv and CarterPreps.tv, big time small town production. This broadcast of high school sports is being brought to you courtesy of the Allen Bear Agency of Akron. In times of such economic uncertainty, let Allen Bear make fast service stability when it comes to your insurance needs. With years of experience serving your community with products in auto, home, and life insurance, the Allen Bear Agency is also available for farm, crop, business, and health insurance as well. Give Allen and his team a call today at 970-345-2310 or stop into 142 Adams in Akron. See how the Allen Bear Agency can serve you. Is your life feeling a little dim? Has all the electricity gone away? Call Broken Electric today. 325833. They can fill any electrical need from right here in Yuma County. For over 40 years, Trophy Electric has been the white shop in our community. All with the best in their field, Trophy offers services from a single outlet. Requiring a whole house, whatever you need, wherever you are. If you're with a family owned Trophy Electric, we'll be there to help brighten your day. Call 332-56. Easy Urgent. 
West on Highway 34 and Ray has expanded their production line. They're offering new dramatic center pivots as well as parts and service for all of their makes and models. They have become one of the largest dealers for Hustler, Walker, Darien, and Gravely brand equipment. As the easy irrigation Highway 34 sales, they sell late model vehicles and new aluminum and steel trailers. High quality meets affordable prices. So whatever your needs, let Brett Dale or any of the staff at Easy Irrigation Highway 34 sales help. Call 332 4114. Swanson Construction is your one-stop shop with concrete work, drywall, flooring, roofing, and stucco, everything including the final finishing nail handle project throughout northeastern Colorado. You need to get in touch with Rick at Swanson Construction, located at 801 East 4th Street in Akron. If Rick can't build it, no one can. Call 970-345-2087. From start to finish, trust Swanson Construction as your one-stop shop for construction. Call 970-345-2087. Back for set number two on Colorado Preps TV, TV. I'm Michael Murphy. It's a big time small town production as the Ray Eagles fall to Burlington in set number one. Burlington will serve to start out set number two. And a service there to start out the point from Kalen Sonkinson. Sonkinson hits it into the net and that'll turn the serve over to Ray. Serve coming from Taylor Godsey, popped up by the Cougars, comes to the outside. The attack by Curly Gately, blocked back by Beth Lenz, and Ray up 2-0. Set comes to the outside, and a miss hit, a misfire from Kiri Gately, and quickly Ray on top, 3-0. Back line popped up by Heskin and in the middle. And just missing the line was Michaela Steven. And Ray enjoying a 4-0 lead. Oh, into the net. I'm sorry, they called uh, Brianna Royer in the net. So give the point over to Burlington. 3-1. Serve comes down the middle by Gately. Tip outside, popped up far side set. Coming back to the near side. And off the block of Beth Lins, the attack from Kylie Heskett rejected. And 4-1, Ray on top to serve over to Maddie Peterson. Feathers one down the middle, pop to the front, nice pass. Set comes near side, Heskett off the block and tipped down by Brianna Royer. Nice job. 5-1, Ray taking the early lead in set number two. Burlington with set number one in their pocket. Nice pass to the front set, goes to the outside. The set was behind her. And unable to recover was Michaela Steven. Serve across, nice pass. Set going to come back to the near side. Heskett down the line and got it. Found the back line, 6-2. Burlington trails back to serve. Number 11, Michaela Steven, the six-foot senior. Steven rifles one down the far side. Give her the ace. She'll give herself the serve after the ace, trying to cut into this Ray lead. Nice serve, pass to the front. Misplayed on the uh, attempt by Taylor Perry. And Steven has cut it to two points here, 6-4. In set number two. Nice rally by both squads. Steven with a misplay. Mari back towards the front and tipped. A miss hit by Kalen Sonkinson. 7-4 Ray on top. The serve comes across from Beth Lenz. Too deep and out. 
the service there going to give the point and the serve over to the Burlington Cougars. A back row attack and a good back row attack. Taylor Godsey going to get the back row attack kill. 8-5 Ray on top and they have the serve. Brianna Royer rifles one that crawls the net. Popped up. Set comes to the outside. Heskett with the attack and the kill. Kylie Heskett will give herself the serve. Rifles one middle. Popped up by Alcorn. Set comes to the backside. Tipped across. Popped up by Heskett. Set back to the middle. Huddleston blocked in the middle. A big time block by Taylor Godsey. They just put the single block up in the middle and she did a great job on the Huddleston attack. Served by Paulina Alcorn. And the overpass comes off of Godsey and down. Back on the front row for the Burlington Cougars is, is number 11, Michaela Steven. Give the ace to Ashley Burgart. Burgart with the serve. Down the middle, popped up by Alcorn. Set, going to go to the middle. And a stuff block in the middle by Michaela Steven. The six-footer got up there by herself, rejecting the attempt by Brianna Royer. Alcorn with a serve down the middle and an ace as it went right through the fingers of Janelle Sprague. Burgart during, doing well. Popped up that time by Alcorn. Attack goes far side, popped up by Mari. Pass comes back to the middle. Flat-footed attack by Heskett. The overpass, too deep and out from Alcorn. Burgart with a serve. Feathers one near side. Back row attack from the libero Alcorn played by her counterpart Burgart back to the front. And the attack, too deep and out from Curry Gately. And Ray has fought their way back into this. A one point contest. 11-10 Burlington on top. Nice job by Mari on the pass. Tipped across and good. Nice job by Kaylin Sonkinson to take the two point lead. Coming in for Mari to serve. Or coming in for Mari number two. Caitlin Nish on the front line, back to serve, Sonkinson. Sonkson. The miscue turning the point and the serve over to Taylor Godsey for the Eagles, a one-point contest. Feathers went across, pop to the front. Set comes near side. Kerry Gately off the block, popped up by the Eagles, and free ball back across, back to the front, set. Comes to the far side, attempt, and down on the far side by Caitlin Nitch. Burlington up 13-11. Checking back into the contest for the Eagles, number five, Brianna Royer. Kerry Gately with the serve, set to the middle on the slide. The attack by Beth Lins finds the back corner and back to a one point contest. That'll turn the serve over to Maddie Peterson. Set going to go backside. Big swing by Michaela Steven off the block and out of bounds. 
the libero Burgart coming to the front on the rotation. So checking back in for her, Shelby Huddleston for the Burlington Cougars. Serve from Steven. Now the attack on the far side from Soner and into the net was number five, Brianna Royer. So a quick two-point rally and Burlington back on top by three, 15 to 12. Steven with the serve, goes middle. Set across, nice job by Heckel. And then Kaylin Songson with the miss hit into the net. Back to a two point lead at 15 13 in the serve to Beth Lenz. Floats one, passes good, set to the middle. Huddleston tips one across. Attack on the outside, pecked up. And the big attempt on the outside from number two, Caitlin Nitch. Checking in for Nitch on the back row and coming in to serve. Number 13, Miranda Mari with the Cougars up 16-13. And she was supposed to hit it soft, but maybe not quite that soft. The service there turning it back over to Ray. The jump serve coming to the back line. Popped up by Mari and Alcorn. And an ace on the jump serve from, my, uh, from Brianna Royer. Royer with a jump serve down the middle. Popped up by Alcorn. Attack by Heskett. Overpass all the way back to the Cougar. Set inside Heskett again. Nice job by Mari on the dig. Flat foot attack from the back row by Burgart. Nice job by Burlington, and they get it. Heskett with the serve. Going to come to the near side. Schoener blocked and popped up back by the Eagles. Tipped to cross. Myrie to front. Outside off the block from Gately. <coughs> Mari with a nice dig. Set comes near side Gately. Tipped across. Overpass right into Huddleston's wheelhouse, but she can't get it into the court. 17 16. Pass to the front, going to come to the near side. Mari with a flat-footed attack. Back row attack from Royer. And then the nice job by Caitlin Songson from the Cougars. Checking back in on the front line is Michaela Steven is back to serve is Burgart. Burgart serves it right into the net. 18-17, Burlington on top. Burlington has set number one as they try to get set number two. Set going to go to the middle quickly. That's such a nice play, and Steven does a great job with it on that quick set. Serve across, misplayed at first, and then a free ball across. Heskett to the near side on the slide, too deep and out, no touch. As Kerry Gately just got too much on it. Remains a one-point contest. And back to serve is Godsey. Quick set and boom again. Michaela Steven. They're saying in the net on Burlington, and so we're tied at 19. Short serve, Mari with a nice pass. Bump set to the near side. Gately with the attack. Pop to the front. Set goes to the near side by Lenz in the middle. Off the block and down. Brianna Royer with the attack, and Ray takes the lead 20-19.
Pass to the front, set, middle, off the block and down. Royer there again, and 21-19, blackjack for Ray. As Ray looking to close out this second set up, 21-19. Set gonna come to the near side, Caitlin off the block and down. As Kerry Gately got it to go through the block and cuts the lead 21-20. Gives herself the serve. Gately to serve down by one. Rifle back row picked up by Alcorn. Set going to go across. And the set kill by number six, Terry or Taylor Perry. 22-20, two-point lead for the Ray Eagles. Timeout going to be called by Burlington as they want to talk things over. Burlington took set one but they're trailing 22 20 in set number two we'll be back right after this you're on chassa.tv car to preps.tv it's a big time small town production everybody knows that when a great opportunity like an iphone presents itself you grab it somebody says that you got tickets to the big game and can't go you grab the tickets somebody tells you that you can get an iphone at a special price you grab it and it's true for a limited time the has iphones for only 79.99 and we'll even pay your early termination fees up to $200 when you switch to Vieira. All that and coverage you can count on. So hurry into Vieira today. Your iPhone is here. Restrictions apply. See for details. Out of the timeout, the Ray Eagles on top 22-20 are trying to serve this set out. And even the, at one set apiece, crawls the net, popped up by Heskett. Go to the far side. The attempt by Steven off the block and is set to the outside. Schoner blocked back to the Ray Eagles set. Going to go back to the middle. And Royer off of the attempt at, by Kira Gately. If Kira Gately keeps her hand off of it, I think that's going to go out. 23-20. Ray needs two points to close out this set. Serve from Matty Peterson is out. Checking back in on the back line is is Paulina Paulina Alcorn and back to serve Michaela Steven the big six foot senior rifles one middle popped up a lot of spin on it going to go back to the middle free ball played across nope four hit violation and it's a one point contest 23-22 with Steven back to serve to try and tie this up Nice serve, picked up by Royer, gonna go to the far side and a free ball back across, set. Gonna come to the near side, Heskett off the block and down on the inside from Brianna Royer and it is set point for the Ray Eagles, 24-22. Beth Lund's trying to close this out. Set to the front, comes to the near side. Heskett with the kill. Kylie Heskett goes cross court, 24-23. As Miranda Mari serving to tie it up and send this second set into extras. Mari serve into the net and that is the set. 25-23, Ray wins set number two. We'll be back for set number three right after this on Chassa.tv, Preps.tv. It's a big time, small town production. Americans love numbers and iPhones. We all know the seven dwarfs, four seasons, and 12 days of Christmas. Now, for a limited time, Vieira is featuring countless reasons to own an iPhone. With an iPhone, you can take great photos or take a crack at Angry Birds, watch your favorite video, or use it as a watch. Find an old school friend on Facebook or simply browse the web. The way you really ought to find is your nearest Vieira store, because for a limited time, you can have an iPhone for only $79.99. Before these great iPhone deals end, get into Vieira. Restrictions apply. See more for details.
Isonoil has been supporting our community for over 65 years and is the leading supplier in propane, Sinclair diesel and gas, Chevron oils, greases and lubricants, and a variety of tires and Delco batteries. Located on Highway 34 in Otis and Platner, Ison Oil is your number one source for diesel, oil, gas, and propane needs. For all those road trip adventures through Northeast Colorado, they offer 24-hour pay-at-the-pump gas and diesel services. Ison Oil, American product, American quality, affordable prices. In 1916, it is estimated that producing 100 bushels of corn took approximately 35 to 40 hours. Today, it is estimated that producing the same 100 bushels takes less than three. A lot has changed in the last 95 years, but one thing has stayed the same. Farm credit is still the lender of choice for America's farmers and ranchers. We are passionate about agriculture and are dedicated to serving America in good times and bad. This is Jordan Wilkie in the Yuma Lending Office. Give us a call today to see how we can help you. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. One of the most important benefits of being a Premier Farm Credit member borrower is having the opportunity to share in the association's profits. Since 2001, Premier has paid out over $31 million in patronage dividends. If you want to be a part of a member-owned and controlled cooperative that offers interest rates that are competitive in the marketplace and committed to a patronage dividend program, call your local Premier Farm Credit office. Premier Farm Credit, the gold standard in ag lending. Set number three, one set apiece, one for Burlington, one for Ray, and the service over to Ray here in set number three. Burlington takes set number one, 25-17. Ray takes set number two, 25-23. Ray with the serve and a service there to start it off from Taylor Perry. That'll turn the serve and the point over to Burlington, Kalen Songson. The overpass comes right through and back, and we're tied at one. Comes across, nice pass by Burgart, tipped across, and a nice job by Kalen Songson. And they're gonna say she had an attack over the net. Two one Ray on top. Nice pass set back to the middle. Flat footed attack. Two deep and out from Michaela Steven. Nice pass set going to go to the outside. The attack off the block popped up by Mari comes back across. Nice job by Ray to keep it alive. Back to the front and the free ball put across. Comes down off of Michaela Steven right to the floor. And Ray quickly on top, four to one here in set number three. <clears throat> nice pass, set goes to the far side. Off the block, Ray gonna pick it up. Gately had the attempt, set across, and right into the fire ring, nice job. Nobody home. Five one Ray on top. Royer with the serve down the middle. Nice pass. Set gonna go short and down. Nice job by Ray to keep it alive. Free ball put back across. Big time set this time on the J or on the slide. Michaela Steven with the kill. Five two. With Kiri Gately to serve. Comes near side, pop to the front. Set going to come to the near side. And down. Taylor Godsey with the kill. 5-2. That'll turn the serving duties over to Maddie Peterson. Nice pass, set gonna come to the near side. And a nice job by Steven, nice job by Ray Eagles to keep it alive. Flat-footed attack across, pop to the front. Set gonna come back in a, under the net was the setter. They got Heskett as she went under the net. So a 7-2 lead by Ray.
out on the far line on the attempt from Peterson. Michaela Steven back to serve, down by four. Nice serve, popped up by Reagan to come back to the middle and a set across. Mari going to set it across to the Eagles. Back set, the attempt coming far line by Lins. Misplayed by the Burlington Cougars. And an 8-3 lead. Checking in, uh, uh, Ashley Burgart, the five-foot senior libero on the back line for the Cougars. Short serve does not crawl over the net. Beth Lins with a service there. Turn the point and serve over to the Burlington Cougars and Miranda Mari back to serve. Alcorn set to the front and in a back set. Alcorn sets back across to the Cougars. Set far side. Heskett big swing. Give her the kill. Kylie Heskett. Nice job through the block and down. Mari to serve three-point deficit for the Cougars. Push to the front. And a four-hit violation on the Ray Eagles. They're trying to crawl back in at 8-6. Burlington trailing by two. The set comes to the outside. Tipped across and blocked down by number three, Kalen Sunkson. It's a one-point game. Checking in for the Ray Eagles, number 17, Brooke George. And she comes in for Taylor Perry on the front line. Serve for Mari, too wide. So they get to within one. Now back to a two-point set here at 9-7. Jump serve comes across, and the ace from Brianna Royer. Short and to the near side, nobody there. Back to a three-point lead for the Ray Eagles. Burlington took set number one. Ray took set number two. Crawling the net. The Burlington Cougars are going to play a free ball back across. Set going to come to the outside to, Son to uh, Soner. Off the block. Set to the middle in the attempt. Saved by the Cougars. And a free ball. Oh, my gosh. Miscommunication by the Burlington Cougars. 7-11 on the board. Pass to the front, tipped and right into the wheelhouse at the net. For Taylor Godsey, she puts it down and back to a five point lead. Serve from Royer, back to the front, set, middle. Huddleston down the middle. Shelby Huddleston with a nice hit down the middle. Heskett with the serve, popped up by Alcorn. Bump set to the near side. And the block put down by Kalen Songson. Served by Heskett. Alcorn with the pass. Back row attack. Set across. Mari with the pass. Tipped across and she couldn't keep her balance. Kaylin Songson had a nice hit but she couldn't keep from going under the net. 13-9 Ray by four. They just took the last set. It's one set apiece.
right into the wheelhouse. In the middle there. Checking back into the middle, Mari. Back to serve Alcorn for Ray, up by five. Set to the backside, Huddleston off the, there was a touch, no touch. A six point lead for Ray, 15-9. Off the block and down, a nice job on the outside by Kiri Gately to stem the tide. 15-10, Eagles on top, Burlington to serve. Ashley Burgart down the near side. Pop to the front, set goes back side. Attack popped up by Burgart. Mari back to the front with a one arm attack. Set comes back to the near side, tipped across by Peterson. Mari back to the middle of the court, set across by Burgart. Then misplayed by the Ray Eagles. 15-11, a four-point contest. Burgart down the middle. Set going to come back to the middle. The attempt by Royer right into the block of Michaela Steven. And it's a three-point contest. When are the Eagles going to call a timeout to stop the momentum? 12-15, Burgart, nice serve. Popped over, going to come to the near side. The attack from Royer. Bump set to the far side, free ball across from Burlington. Comes to the near side, Royer again by Mari. Now back to the front, Mari flat-footed across. Set, going to come to the near side. Attack from Peterson, got it through the block and down. 16-12. Eagles trying to take their second set here in this match. One set apiece. Whoever wins this has a shot to go. But if Burlington wins here, they would have to beat Akron to go. If Ray wins here, they have to count on Burlington beating Akron in the last match of the day. Set far side. Gately with the attempt, popped up by the Eagles. Flat back row attack. Set goes to the outside. Gately again, back row, popped up by Alcorn. Give her the kill. 17-13, a four-point game with Ray on, on top here in this second set or third set, one set apiece, one for Acker and one for Burlington. Give her the ace. Kalen Songson with the ace, cuts the lead to three. Songson to serve with the Ray Eagles on top 17-14. Rifles one far corner, give her another ace. Two in a row. Timeout called by Ray. They want to talk things over as Burlington getting close here. 17 15 in set three. Burlington catching up. You're listening to Chassa.tv, call it to preps.tv. It's a big time, small town production. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. Out of the timeout, Burlington trying to get back into this. Right into the wheelhouse, and Burlington's getting closer as Gately puts it down. A one-point 
contest. Back to serve. Kaylin Songson to tie it up. Songson rifles one near side. Set going to come back to the middle. That's Peterson float one across. Unable to get it in the back row was Burgart. So stemming the tide after a four-point run. Now the serve across popped up. Going to go to the outside. Gately comes back to the middle. Nice job by Alcorn to bring it to the near side. And the attempt, not sure whether Peterson thought she was going to take it to Royer, but they didn't talk. The ball out of bounds back to a one-point lead. Burlington trying to tie it up has come as close as one as Gately puts it down the middle. Almost misplayed Alcorn with the set, set across. Set by Heskett, back to the backside. Left-handed attempt, she got it down the line. Did Caitlin Nitch. And we're tied at 18. Kerry Gately with the serve. Give her the ace? No, going to be played back to the middle and a free ball put across by the Eagles. Set back to the near side, back to the far post. Heskett off the block and down. Kylie Heskett puts the Burlington Cougars on top, 19-18. Paulina Acorn passes to the front. Now set across by the Eagles. Popped up by Burgart. Set to the outside. Heskett off the block and down. Two in a row for Heskett. 2018. Two point lead for Burlington. Almost three. Free ball going to be played back across by the Eagles. Burgart to the front. Set goes outside. Heskett off the block. Popped up back row by Godsey. Then the attempt by Maddie Peterson just misses the back line and it is blackjack time for the Burlington Cougars at 21-18. Gately now on a three-point run. Gately served near side, popped to the front, set, comes near side, off the block, nice job by Burlington to keep it alive, a free ball going to be played back across by Songson. Ray going to play to the backside, and they can't play it into the net. 22-18, a four-point lead for the Ray Eagles, I mean for the Burlington Cougars. One set apiece, Gately with her sixth serve, give her an ace. 22-23-18, got to be a timeout coming. Yes, there it is. The Ray Eagles calling a timeout with a five-point lead for Burlington. 23-18 here in set number three. You're on Chasset on TV, call to preps.tv. It's a big-time small-town production. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> Out of the timeout, the Burlington Cougars on a big run, 23-18 up by five in a match that saw Ray up by five earlier. Kiri Gately with the serve, overpass right back into the Cougars offense, played and set back to the back line and out. Now we have set point at 24-18 to take a two set to one lead for the Burlington Cougars. Kerry Gately serves. Misplayed, but a free ball gonna come back across. Set gonna go to the outside Heskett to try and close it out and she does in the net for the Ray Eagles was 
number 12, Beth wins and 25-18. Cougars take set three. We'll be back for set number four right after this on Chassa.tv and ColoradoPreps.tv, a big time small town production. Spelman Schmidt Funeral Home sends out good luck wishes to the Ray Eagles. Spelman Schmidt is an independent, family-owned funeral home that is dedicated to providing superior service to Yuma County. Spelman Schmidt is committed to helping you and your loved ones arrange a service that is personalized to your specific needs and wants, making the process as simple as possible. Their pledge to you is to treat this time with compassion and respect and provide you with any information and help you may need throughout the funeral course. Spelman Schmidt Funeral Home is located at 420 Adams Street in Ray or by calling 332 332- Five nine two three. The Stafford Agency in Ray is a proud supporter of Ray Eagle Athletics. Located at 101 West 3rd and Ray, Mike and Shelley invite you in to find out how they can serve you with any of your insurance needs. Offering insurance that you depend on with a service that you can count on, the Stafford Agency is the right place to get your next rate comparison. Call the Stafford Agency today at 970-332-5003. Good luck to all the Ray student athletes working towards success for their school, their teams, and their community. Set number four. Burlington with two sets, Ray with one. Burlington trying to close it out. They'll have the set to start, or the serve to start here in set three, or set four. And an ace to start things off from Kalen Songson. A misplay in the back row gets it back across. Nice job by Ray. And a flat-footed attack from Gately. Played well by Ray outside. Tip across. And a nice tip across by Steven. Going to play back by the Eagles. Come to the outside. Gately with the attack. Did she get the back line? No, but it was touched. Pass to the front, set goes to the backside, miss hit, played across by Ray and Burlington, the joust won by Ray, back across, and put down by Godsey, Taylor Godsey on the front row, with a nice play. Outside, Gately down the middle, one arm, dig is good. I didn't, couldn't tell who had that one arm dig. Serve across, pass to the front by Burgart, and a big swing on the short set. When that works, it's so pretty by Michaela Steven. Pass to the front, set, going to come back to the backside into the net. Touching the net was Steven. Tied up three apiece here in set number four. Godsey with the serve down the middle, popped up 
Back row by Burgart. Set going to come to the outside to Steven. Goes down to the middle and got it. She hung in midair. Nice job of body control. And she'll give herself the serve. And she serves it into the net. Checking in for Steven on the back line will be the libero, Ashley Burgart. Serving for Ray as Maddie Peterson comes near side. Popped up by Gately. Set by Mari across. Nice job by Ray to keep it alive. Back to the front. Mari going to set to the near side. And a nice job by Huddleston to keep it alive for Burlington. Tip back row. Pass forward by Burgart. Comes near side. Heskett down the line. Got it. Kylie Heskett with the kill. And 5-4. Burlington takes the lead. Mari back to serve for the Cougars. Down the middle, popped up by Alcorn. Set, comes near side, attack. Off the block and down by Beth Lenz. Mari with a nice dig, gonna come to the near side. Back row attack from Burgart, nice dig by Burgart off the attack from the Eagles. Pass going to go to the middle, tip across, off the block, played by Mari, and a free ball played to the back line, too deep and out. It was a good idea by Kaylin Songson. She just put too many Wheaties on it. Serve across from Linz. Nice job by Gately, set, going to come to the near side. Heskett off the block, popped up back line by Alcorn, now tipped across. Front line and unable to play it after Gately fisted it to keep it alive. Huddleston was unable to keep it on the court. 7-5, Ray on top. Huddleston tips it across. Bump set to the backside, tipped across by Warren. Nice job by Mari to keep it alive. Tip to the backside, Gately up. Huddleston now with the pass, now to Heskett. Popped up by Alcorn, set, going to go to the backside. Tipped across, nice job, and almost saved by Burgart. 8-5 now, Ray with a three-point lead. Oh, give her an ace. Beth Lins with the ace, a four-point lead for Ray. Are we going to five on this one? Could be going to five. Serving into the net was Beth Lins. Pushes it back to a three-point lead. Server cross popped up by Alcorn. The overpass right to Huddleston. Back to Alcorn. Alcorn back row attack. Got it on the back line. Checking in for the Ray Eagles on the front line will be number four, Taylor Godsey. Jump serve from the back line. Popped up. From Royer goes far side Huddleston. Boom goes the dynamite. Big swing by Huddleston. She'll come out and checking in on the front line will be number 11, Michaela Steven. Nice serve. Nice job by Alcorn to keep it alive. Back row attack by Royer. Picked up by Mari. Joust one at the net by Ray. And Taylor Godsey.
Free ball back across to the Eagles. Pass to the front set. Going to go to the outside to Maddie Peterson. Picked up by Heskett. Comes to the near side. Tipped across. Nice job by Ray to keep that alive. Going to set it back to the outside this time. Gately back line. Alcorn popped it up. Are they going to get the free ball across? No. Nice attempt. Just couldn't get it down. Nice hustle by Ray. Songston to serve. Set going to go to the back side. Comes near side. On the attempt, set to the far post. Mari down. Nice job, Mari got it on the far post. Feathers one across, and the Burlington Cougars are back within two. Checking in for Burlington is Caitlin Nitch. Popped up by Alcorn. Going to be free ball back over to Burlington, and that's out. Now a one-point contest. 11-10, Ray on top. Back line, nice pass to the front. Bump set, though, the joust won by Burlington. Joust won on the far side by Caitlin Nitch. And we're all tied at 11. Caitlin Songson to serve. Songson with a rifle attack that time. Dug in the back row by Ray. And a back row attack from Alcorn is out. And Burlington takes the lead, 12-11. Burlington ahead two sets to one in this match. Kalen Songson with the serve. Overpass right into the wheelhouse of Steven, and she knew what to do with it. Songson serve back row, popped up by Alcorn. Going to be passed to the far side. Back row attack. Down from Brianna Royer. Jordan Barron, Allison Vasquez, Megan Woods, Sydney Merrill all staying around here getting ready for this match coming up between Burlington and Akron. And the tip across from Steven falls to the court. Burlington on top, 14-12. Free ball going to be played across. Now a flat-footed attack. Burgard back to the front. Heskett with a tip across on the flat foot. Back to the middle. Royer down the middle. Popped up by Burgard. Now back to the front, and the free ball played across by Burlington. Set across, and back to the back line. Nice job by Beth Lenz. Burlington wins this set. Ray's season is over. Ray wins this set. We go to set number five. A 15-13 lead for Burlington here in set four. Set going to come back on the outside to Boyer and off the block and out, Brianna Royer. One point lead for Burlington with Maddie Peterson serving for the Eagles. And an ace. Misplayed by Kalen Songson. We're all tied at 15. Peterson into the net. Peterson leaves back on. Paulina Alcorn.
Pop to the front. Set goes outside and back across. Burgart with a pass. Set, push to the near side. Heskett off the block. Bump set to the far side and a bump across. Nope, didn't make it. It was a free ball, did not clear the net. Now Burlington on top by two, 17-15. Mari with the serve, feathered across. And a free ball across by the Ray Eagles. The short sat on the inside to Huddleston and she couldn't get it to clear the strings. A one point lead for Burlington in serving. Beth Lins floats one backside. Gately gonna get it to the front, tipped across, back. Nice job by Burgart. Mari set to the front. Heskett down the middle, popped up by the Eagles. Tipped across, Heskett with a bump set, now back to her. Heskett gets the kill down the middle. 18-16. Burlington seven points away from making this next match the championship match between Akron and Burlington with no losses apiece if Burlington can close this out. Set across, picked up by Burgart. Going to set to the near side, and the set is way too far out. I thought she was setting you over here, Morgan. Was almost yours. 18-17, a one-point lead for Burlington. Ray just hanging around, trying to stay in it. Brianna Royer with the serve. Burgart with the pass, set, comes outside, Gately off the block, nice job by the dig. By Lins, now back to the front, tipped across, nope, nobody home that time, Gately. Nineteen seventeen, and that'll send Ashley Burgart back to serve. The overpass into the net, Ray tries to play it and can't. Ace for Burgart and a three point lead, 20 to 17 for the Cougars. Nice serve again, Alcorn pass to the front, goes to the outside, popped across, nice job by Heskett, now back to the middle. Steven blocked off of her attempt. Set comes back outside, Gately with the dink, tipped across, back to the back line and two deep and out. Blackjack, 21-17. Timeout called by Ray as Burlington takes the four-point lead, 21-17 here in set number four. You're on Chassa.tv, CollarDePreps.tv, and YouTube.com. This is a big-time small-town production. The entire staff of the Washington County Clinic is proud of all area athletes working toward a state title. Commitment, perseverance, and good attitude are all qualities these young men and women have to help make their dreams become realities. Call Washington County Clinic 345-2262 to see how Washington County Clinic can meet your medical needs. Washington County Clinic, dedicated to community health and happiness. Twenty-one seventeen out of the timeout. If Burlington holds on, they will go into the final match of the day undefeated against undefeated Akron to determine who's going to move on to Friday's play. If Ray comes back, we'll go to set number five. Popped up by Heskett, going to go tip across. Nice job by Ray to get it to the backside. And feathered across, was there a touch? No, into the net. Burlington and me called into the net. Kerry Gately called in the net. 21-18. Serve turned over to Paulina Alcorn. Burgart with the pass. Comes near side. Gately set across. Go to the outside and unable to play it was Maddie Peterson. 22-18, three points away are the Burlington Cougars. Kaylin Songson, feathers one down the middle, popped up by Alcorn, set, gonna go to the backside. Big swing, too deep and out. Taylor Perry just missing the back line. And now two points for Burlington to get in 
to the championship match coming up next. Back row attack, nice job by Burlington to keep it alive by Heskett. She'll play it again, go far side, tipped across. Ray gonna keep it alive, set back to the front. Mari comes near side, Gately tipped across. Nice rally by both squads. Free ball back to Burlington, comes near side, Gately, big shot and got it. Through Beth Lins and it's set point and match point for the Burlington Cougars. 24-18 in set number four. Caitlin Songson to serve for the set and the match. Down the middle, popped up by Alcorn. Feathered across, Burgart with the pass, comes to the near side on the set. Mari goes down middle. Set going to go back to the middle on the slide. Down the middle, popped up by Burgart. Come to the near side, Gately tips into the net. Ray staves off one set point. 24-19, Taylor Perry to serve. Popped up by Burgart, set, come middle, big swing, that's the match as the Burlington Cougars will win 25-19 in set number four. They'll face Akron next. We'll be back right here on Chassa.tv and CarterPreps.tv for that championship match. Either Akron or Burlington will be going to Friday's play here from District 2, 2A. I'm Michael Murphy on Chassa.tv, CarterPreps.tv, YouTube.com. This is a big-time small-town production.